I'm joined now by Rachel from Screen Suffolk. Thank you so much for coming on. That's all right. Lovely to be here. Um, so can you tell us a bit about Screen Suffolk and what it is that you do? Yeah, so Screen Suffolk is an organisation um, uh, that works on behalf of all the councils, district councils and borough councils in Suffolk to uh, facilitate and permit filming across the whole of Suffolk. So if you're a filmmaker or a photographer and you, you need to close a road or film on a beach or film in one of our parks, um, you just contact us and we sort that out for you. Yeah, Amazing. And permit it. Yeah. So did Netflix get in touch with you or did you sort of make yourselves aware to Netflix? Well, we, we've had the, 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 the story for the dig. Well, the book was obviously written quite, quite a number of years ago, but the script has been around for quite a, quite a number of years now. Um, so it's always been on our radar. And I suppose it's about two years ago that a location scout started contacting us and they were looking for things like Edith Pretty's house in Suffolk or... They were looking for little bits and, and we sort of gave them a few pointers and then it sort of all went quiet again and then it sort of all picked up again sort of last summer no the summer of 2019 mm -hmm. um when they said yes they were definitely wanted to come to Suffolk for a week and we helped them find certain locations in Suffolk that, that they used. Nice so I visited Sutton Hoo back in November um, during the sort of mini semi lockdown when we were still allowed to sort of do some stuff and from what I remember they don't actually use Edith Pretty's real house do they or do they? No they don't no they couldn't actually film at all at Sutton Hoo um, because it's open to visitors um, and also you can't really film around the mounds and obviously you can't dig it up um, <laughs> so they 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 <laughs> <laughs> they filmed they filmed mainly they filmed the main dig parts of the film and Edith Pretty's house were all were all in um Surrey and the studio um the studio was in Surrey as well. So yeah. So they did a week's filming in Suffolk where they got all their establishing shots, um, where they really sort of they did the first week of filming in Suffolk, um, so that they could really get the the look of the film nailed down before they went on to do any other filming so they had it in their minds that they wanted the big skies you know the the, the marsh to run all the way through the film which it does yeah doesn't it? it's, it's, it's looks so beautiful oh my god it's gorgeous i had no idea that you know this place i've lived all my life it looks so magical on film <laughs> and you're like you get yeah, really proud it? yeah, yeah. It's amazing. so it the the ferry that he rides to get to Edith Pretty's house at the beginning of the movie. Was that in Suffolk then? That is, that is Butley Ferry. Um, and it's one, actually there's a few, uh, something else I do, which is something that no one knows probably, is I'm also a ferry man, ferry woman, nice. uh, for the Wolverswick Southwold Ferry. So I'm a, I'm a rower. Um, I row people across that stretch of water. So I know there are a few um, rowing boat ferries in Suffolk and Butley is one of them. And there's one in the Wolverswick Southwold one, there's um, Bordsey as well. So, so yeah, there's a, there's a few around that cover small stretches of water. Oh, amazing. And it wasn't ever a possibility that you were going to don a beard and be the sort of ferryman for Ray Fiennes. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, the, uh, the Butley, the, but, the people who, the people who are on film, it, it, on film rowing the ferry are actually the Butley ferry man and his wife. Aww. Um and they and they 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 donned the costumes and got dressed up and did that. So which is so so lovely. Because actually really nice. you can't just let anyone row one of those boats across the river because you actually kind of have to know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just let an actor do it. No. No matter and and actors are notorious for sort of putting things on their CV that they definitely cannot do in real life. So yeah, there could have been an accident there. <laughs> um. Yeah. Amazing. I can row, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure, put me on. Yep, great. And then suddenly you're dragging people out of the river. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> so what other locations in Suffolk were used specifically? Do you know them off by heart? I know a few. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, so the most, I'd say the most recognisable location, Suffolk location, is probably um, Boyton Marsh, which is where all the scenes with that, 
brick structure were filmed um and i'd say that's the most recognizable that's an rspb site oh. so yeah uh it's a lovely site if you ever want to go for a walk or anything mm. just it, it's beautiful you've got lovely footpaths around by the water um but that's where they filmed a large part of the suffolk filming which we pointed them in their direction but the rspb then sort of managed that themselves because they know all about <laughs> looking after wildlife and all that sort of sort of thing yeah. um, uh, we also help them with some filming at snake maltings um there's a scene where a boat goes along the river um and and we we help them with that and we also oh. they're unit based and put all their technical vehicles at, actually at snake maltings itself um for a day so that was really exciting and they filmed on albra beach um oh, wow. and they did a bit at shingle street with rafe finds riding his bike mm -hmm. um yeah so all over the place and and they were only here for a week but there is so much of it in the film that's what's so lovely say, yeah they cram so much of it in when you consider how long filming takes that's crazy that they were only here a week yeah yeah um so does that mean you were on set sort of uh at the we time on, when they were we were on set um myself and my job share jim we were on set for the snake moltings Albra beach shingle street day yeah which was so exciting it's so great it's always exciting it's fun <laughs> isn't it a, there's something set. magical about a film set where yeah. you're just like oh and this was pre-covid so it was september 2019 yeah. so it was all very relaxed um mm -hmm. yeah so it was it was it was really it's really great it's always lovely to have people visit suffolk to film it's just yeah. always such a, so lovely and people always love coming here as well which is great that's really good yeah but yeah we've had a busy start to the year and there's people you know we are have got more things filming we've got a suffolk story another suffolk story filming later on in the year Ooh. which yeah which i can't say too much about yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's very exciting but there is going to be more suffolk on the screen that's for mm -hmm. sure nice so did you did you enjoy the dig i assume you've watched it loved it yeah absolutely loved it um i watched it with my kids and they and it was just really you know i've taken him to sutton who so many times and it's quite abstract, isn't it? Just looking at those mounds. And I've taken them to the British Museum to see all the, you know, masks and, and treasures. But it's just so, it was just, it really sort of brought the whole story to life for them. And I think it's going to, I think it's done that for so many people. And I think mm -hmm. people weren't completely aware of of it outside of Suffolk. I think everyone in Suffolk knows, knows the story, but outside of Suffolk. And so I think it's going to have a real impact on, on, on the tourist industry here as well. Yeah. You know, people yeah. wanting to come and visit and Suffolk itself absolutely and there's so much here tourist wise that come like come out it's amazing yeah. so <laughs> I'm sort of asking everyone this um do you think the treasures should have been given to the British Museum or do you think they should have stayed in Suffolk oh I know <laughs> I, I do you know what i okay I'd, i mean I'd, i i'm no i think they should have gone to the british museum although that's probably controversial isn't it <laughs> maybe, they, maybe they should have gone to the Ipswich museum but i do think about the british museum you the most amount of people will then get to see them yeah absolutely so i like it for that reason and mm -hmm. i and when i go to the british museum i just find it so exciting to go and see that and know that's from our little part of Suffolk yeah it's so um, true I feel the same I, whenever I'm with yeah. someone I drag them specifically yeah. to that part to be yeah. like look look <laughs> yeah. what we found <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly um yeah, yeah I think and, and and the visitor center at Sutton here is amazing you know they've done you know even though they haven't got the original treasures there you feel like they have don't yeah. you when you go there yeah definitely and they definitely have the real mounds so and that's really the exactly. more magical yeah. part yeah yeah <laughs>